Hello, and thank you for joining us on this video tour of Southern California Edison's Lundy Project. Southern California Edison owns and operates the Lundy Project in Mono County, California. This video will provide a brief overview of the project and its principal features. Lands in and around the project include a combination of federal and non-federal lands. The watershed has a total drainage area of approximately 135 square miles. The Mono Basin and the Mill Creek Watershed includes the crest of the Sierra Nevada, with maximum elevations extending up to 12,400 feet to approximately 6,400 feet at the shoreline of Mono Lake. The Lundy Project originates in Lundy Canyon and flows directly into Mono Lake four miles downstream. The Lundy Project is authorized by a 30-year license issued by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, or FERC, in 1999. This authorization expires on February 28, 2029. The current FERC license contains measures to protect key resources, and these measures will be re-evaluated as part of the process we are starting. The vicinity of the Lundy Project was historically sculpted by glaciers, and is currently characterized by rounded granitic outcrops, U-shaped glacial valleys, glacial lakes, and talus slopes. The stunning visual and natural features of the area lend themselves to recreational opportunities, including camping, hiking, and fishing. A campground is located below Lundy Lake. Lundy Lake and Mill Creek are stocked by California Department of Fish and Wildlife for fishing. There are trails and trailheads that are accessible from the Lundy Project. Boating, sightseeing, and picnicking are also popular in this area. Lundy Lake is the intake for Lundy Powerhouse. The lake has historically been drawn down in the winter to provide storage capacity for spring runoff. Water is conveyed from Lundy Lake to the Powerhouse via the flow line and penstock. Water is managed in the basin according to established water rights that have been adjudicated by the Superior Court of Mono County. Spill and power generation are largely incidental to these water rights and secondarily by SCE's Power Sales Agreement with Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, which specifies annual drawdown requirements. SCE's FERC license requires that minimum flows be provided to stream reaches between the reservoir and the powerhouse but these are also limited by pre-existing water rights. Lundy Lake receives its water from Lundy Canyon, which has a drainage area of approximately 16 square miles. The gravel and rock-filled dam measures approximately 690 feet long, with a structural height of 48 feet from the base of the core wall to the top of wall. The dam impounds the 132-acre Lundy Lake, which has a net storage capacity of 4,113 acre-feet. The spillway is a 150-foot long by 7.7-foot deep notch in the concrete core wall. An additional water release structure, known as the Farmer's Gate, operates when the lake level is above 7,779 feet to provide additional flow to the base of Lundy Dam. Generally, Operation of the Farmer's Gate is possible during wetter spring periods or wet water years. On the west end of Lundy Lake, there is a two-lane boat launch available for recreationists. The site offers parking for approximately five boats with trailers. At Lundy Dam, there is a day-use area with a gravel parking lot. This site offers a restroom facility along with access to local trails. Lundy Canyon Campground is located downstream, approximately one mile northeast of the Lundy Lake Dam. The campground is operated under a lease from SCE to Mono County. The campground offers 37 sites for recreationists, 9 tent sites, and 28 sites that can fit a 35-foot recreational vehicle. Sites offer a cleared area for camping, a picnic table, a parking area, and several sites offer a bear-proof box for storage. There are four day-use areas located east of Lundy Canyon Campground. These day-use sites provide parking areas and picnic tables for recreationists to enjoy views of Mill Creek. Mill Creek flows into Mono Lake. Below Lundy Lake, downstream to the 7,200-foot contour, the creek is densely vegetated, causing frequent log jams. Wood and boulders are frequent, and channel bed material is a mix of gravel, cobbles, and boulders with some sand. 
Below the 7,200-foot contour, the creek extends downstream for another 3.5 miles outside of the project boundary to Mono City and is underlain by gravels and silts. After leaving Mono City, the creek is underlain by gravels and cobbles for the remaining 2.5 miles downstream where it flows into Mono Lake. The Lundy Powerhouse is a reinforced concrete building constructed in 1911. It is located on the Wilson Drainage East downstream of Lundy Lake. The building is 66 feet long, 32 feet wide, 31 feet high, and has a substructure that is 9 feet deep. The powerhouse contains two canyon turbines, each directly connected to an Alice Chalmers generator rated at 15,000 kilowatts. Below the Lundy powerhouse, water discharged from the powerhouse tail race is sent to a splitter box, which directs flows either to the Wilson drainage system, Wilson system, or returns water to Mill Creek via the Mill Creek return ditch. This return ditch shown here, and the point at which it rejoins Mill Creek, represents the end of the FERC project boundary. The allocation of water between the Wilson system and Mill Creek is determined based on existing adjudicated water rights and flows through the powerhouse are set to ensure those water deliveries to water rights holders are met. Once water is returned to Mill Creek, it is outside the Lundy project boundary and continues towards Mono Lake. Thank you for your time and interest in SCE's Lundy project. If you are interested in learning more about the project and the FERC relicensing process, please visit the project website at www.sce.com forward slash Lundy for more information.